So welcome everyone and special welcome to anyone who is new to Celebrate Recovery or just visiting us for the first time. Uh, we're glad you made it, we really are. Um, I am Bill Bruski, I am a grateful believer in Jesus Christ and a child of God. And I am recovering from things like pornography, having lost sex sexual sins, um, selfishness, anger, and entitlement. Now this list isn't all inclusive. Hi, girl. Hey, hi, girl. Good to see you. This list is not all inclusive, and I didn't even say everything that's highlighted on here. Um, well, I, I asked myself, why don't I say that? Well, maybe I'm not ready to yet. I, I'm addicted to food. I didn't realize it, but I'm eating like two bowls of cereal every night before I go to bed, and it just ain't right, you know. And um, why do I do that? I don't know, comfort or something. But so, so there, I admitted that one. I got a new one. All right, it's food. Um, but. Uh, You know, it's, it's just, that's the way it is, I guess, I don't know. Um, I do get to be your large group facilitator tonight. Please do turn off your cell phones and then we're going to uh, get to get in touch with the Lord here and pray in a little bit. But first I want to go off on a little bit of a rabbit trail that we usually do. You guys are pretty much all regulars, you know the format, and I'm just going to mess with it a little bit. One of the things we've been talking about lately in our small groups in different areas, um, what is the difference between AA and CR? And there is a lot of them, um, but the one that I want to key on right now, and, and I've never really been to an AA meeting, so I'm just going to assume it's that scene on TV. You go in and you sit down and say, I am Bill, I'm an alcoholic. Is that true? Does that happen, Kurt? Okay, thank you. And I'm sorry if I outed you, but I'm pretty much sure everyone knows that we've been there. So, the big difference here is you know, how we identify ourselves. And I used to think it was so fake and phony for me to just say it every time that I build and I'm a grateful believer in Jesus Christ. But the more I said it, the more I understood it, and the more I believed it. Can I get an amen to that? Amen. I believe it. I believe I am a believer and a child of God. So that's how I identify myself. That's one of the significant differences between AA and CR. Um, and I still have my struggles. Um, I have them, but it doesn't define who I am. We all have our faults, but as long as we humble ourselves and repent and, and seek forgiveness that the Lord offers and choose to follow His way, you know, we're in good shape and we're, we're accepted into His kingdom. But it's still only by His grace and mercy. But we've got to make a conscious effort to receive that forgiveness. So what am I dealing with this week? Brings us to this selfishness, anger, and entitlement. I'm in a job. This is just Monday, okay? I had a power to wash the side of the condo, and the condos are pretty close together. we got one building here, one building here, a little pitch, patch of grass in between, and the homeowner tells me, you know, watch out for the landmines. The, the neighbor's got a dog and they haven't been cleaning up after it very well. So I look and sure enough, there's one like three feet from my ladder. I could have very well been wearing that. Thankfully I wasn't, but you know what? I said, well, I'll take care of this. So I started walking over toward the neighbor's house and uh, she was walking to her car. She got in the car and she started to back out and I you know, rolled up to the, went up to the window. Give her the universal sign and roll it on your window. I said, hey, would you mind please uh, coming out and cleaning up the dog stuff that's in the yard so I don't walk all over it? I just did that. And I looked back over at the pile and I'm like, no, you didn't. And I started to get angry. I was like, I'm entitled to have a clean workspace that the crap isn't, you know, from a homeowner. And I just felt like I didn't handle it well, and I wasn't going to back down. And she started to tell me, well, the leash isn't even long enough. I'm like, the owner doesn't have a dog, and there's crap on her side of the yard. I'm just getting so irritated, but, you know, reluctantly she got out of her car, she went and took care of it, and I just felt myself boiling up inside, and I decided, you know what, calm down, represent Christ at this point somehow if you can. And I said, you know what, thank you very much. I do appreciate it, and I do hope you have a good day. And 
she huffed off, I guess she mumbled whatever under her breath, and probably wanted to give me the universal sign for whatever as well, but she didn't. So did I represent Christ well that day? Probably not, but I saw his forgiveness, and hopefully I'll have an opportunity tonight to make up for that. Maybe I can share it all of Christ with you guys tonight. Um, so that brings me to number three. We get these comment cards every now and then, right? And um, I read them first typically, and then I share them with the leaders in our meetings, and we make adjustments as necessary. But here's one that we got recently. I don't know who it's from, and I'm not calling this person out, but I just wanted to share it with you. I love that Celebrate Recovery is for more than just drug and alcohol addiction. I'm an addict, but I also have plenty of other hurts, habits, and hang-ups. They, they got the lingo down all right. That I need to work on. Honestly, I believe in God, but I don't know if I believe in Jesus. So that would be one thing that was hard for me with CR versus AA. Thank you for welcoming us. Okay, so I prayed over this card a couple of times and I wanted to use it. I didn't really know how. I didn't want to make the person feel bad or something for what they said. Obviously, as a Christian now for a while, it really rung my bell was I believe in God, but I don't know if I believe in Jesus. Okay, that's one way I really got to process. How can you believe in one without the other? But I'm, I get it now, really. I'm not, I'm not judging that person. I mean, if that person's here, I really am not judging you. Belief or faith in Jesus is a gift that simply wasn't granted to you yet. Okay? So I'm encouraging you now, and if there's anyone else like that here, humble yourself, get on your knees, and talk to the God that you know, and ask God to reveal the truth of Jesus to you. So beyond that was the key word that I'm going to focus on right here, as far as CR is concerned. Right in the middle is nestled, honestly. Honestly. Just think about that for a second. Is it that the condition of our heart that God wants us to have? Will He not meet with us once we are honest with Him about our situation? Believing in God and being obedient to the call to come here whenever you came here for the first time was what He wanted to happen. And if you don't yet know Christ, then that's why He brought you here. As leaders and members of CR, we have but one ultimate goal, and that's to exemplify the very love of Christ that He came to earth to demonstrate for all of us. Can I get an amen to that? If, uh, if you don't know Christ, then stick around and let us do what we were called to do to demonstrate the love and acceptance and compassion of Jesus Christ to you. So now we can finally get to this prayer and open up this meeting. So, uh, Heavenly Father, Lord, uh, the enemy would like nothing more than to cast doubt in all our minds about the truth and reality of your Son, Jesus Christ. It's very real that many still doubt. You know more than any of us how many of your creation still don't know you, your Son, or your Holy Spirit. If there is anyone present among us tonight that have those doubts, we ask you humbly to bind the enemy and his ways from those people. Remove the scales from their eyes that they may see the truth. Empower us, enable us, and encourage us to demonstrate the love of Jesus to them. Get our own stubbornness, our own entitlement, our own righteousness out of the way. Use us the way you need to use us tonight to reach everyone here with a message of truth and hope and recovery. We are nothing without you, God, so please be with us tonight. Amen. Amen. All right, so there is coffee and water in the visiting area. There are participant guides, Bibles, and journals, and daily devotionals, CR meeting schedules, and other information on the information table. We are a self-supporting group, so please pay for their participant books, Bibles, journals, and devotionals. All of the paper handouts are free. Bathrooms are down the hallway to the right, and there is a second one right over there behind the kitchen. For newcomers, Celebrate Recovery is a program for anyone with a hurt, habit, or hang-up. And these slides show us some of what we are and what we are not. So we are a safe place to share. We're a refuge, a place of belonging, a place to care for others, and to be cared for. 
where respect is given to each member and we are a place where confidentiality is highly regarded. This is a place to learn, it's a place to grow and become strong again, where you can take off your mask. It's a place for healthy challenges and healthy risks and hopefully, possibly, the turning point in your life. So what are we not? We are not a place for selfish control. This is not a place for therapy or a place for secrets. It's not a place to look for dating relationships, a place to rescue or be rescued by others. We do not expect perfection here. And this is not a long-term commitment. This is not a place to judge others, and it's certainly not a quick fix. At Celebrate Recovery, we do start out with music, and music is a special tool that God uses to open our hearts to hear from Him, and as another way we can express our love back to Him. I selected these songs as they speak to the message of giving back to God through praise and surrender and servanthood, which is kind of part of tonight's lesson of giving. This is a time to focus on God and not our problems and pain. As we open our hearts to God, we can begin to celebrate our journey.
brought me this far so why would i question you now you have provided so why would i start to doubt i've never been stranded abandoned or left here to fight alone so i'm giving you Consider all the worlds our hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how 
how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art. With shouts of acclamation And take me home What joy shall fill my heart Then I shall bow In humble adoration and there proclaim my god how great thou art then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great My soul, my Savior, God, to 